In this tutorial, we'll show you how to measure straight Grecian and Roman style pools using Mosier ensuring accurate dimensions for area, perimeter and elevation changes. To begin, tap on the plus icon and select Closed Shape Measurement Type to define the pool's area and perimeter and any elevation variations. Turn on the Mosier device by raising it vertically and rotating it 180 degrees back and forth until the LED flashes blue. Once the LED turns red, place the device at your starting position, ensuring the reference point is aligned with the pool edge. Once the device is stationary, there's no rush to continue immediately. You can pause between measurements to assess your next move and select the appropriate path type before proceeding. Using the straight line path type allows us to measure in a straight line regardless of the route we take to get there. If there's an obstacle in our way, we can simply navigate around it. Once we place the device back down against the pool edge, we'll have captured a straight line measurement between the two points. For accuracy, maintain a steady pace, place the device gently but quickly against the pool edge and rotate it smoothly avoiding any abrupt movements. Next, we continue measuring in a straight line, stopping where the corner of the pool begins. Here, we switch to the arc path type, capturing at least three points, the start, the middle and the final point at the end of the curve. We then switch back to the straight line path and walk quickly to the next corner, where we repeat the process with the arc path to capture the curve. The app initially draws a straight line to the second middle point, but once we capture the third point, it switches to a best fit arc to complete the measurement. Next, we choose the straight line path and walk to the central part of the pool length, navigating around the pool handrails. Pay attention to the timer bar to gauge when to pause and set down your device. Aim to pause when the timer bar is in the green zone and no longer than within the amber zone. For optimal results, aim to pause just as the timer bar transitions from the green zone to the amber zone. Avoid letting the timer bar enter the red zone. Staying on the straight line path, we quickly walk to the next start of the arc path for the corner, aligning the reference point with the pool edge. Once again, we choose the arc path type to capture the three points for a best fit arc measurement. Then, we switch to the straight line path and navigate easily around the next set of pool handrails, gently placing the device at the start of the last pool corner. To complete our measurement, we capture the final arc, placing the device at the start, middle and end around the curve. Remember, we must finish at the starting point to close the measurement and ensure accuracy. After tapping on the red stop icon, you'll see the perimeter and area values displayed for the entire pool measurement. Our start-finish error of 0.1% shows just how accurate the result is, achieved by following our key techniques – a brisk walking pace, quick but gentle placement and a steady gradual rotation. To save the measurement, tap File, then Save and choose a folder and file name. To add a background image for this pool, tap on Edit, then Edit Background. Next, tap on Add Image and upload an aerial view of your project to place behind your measurement. You can adjust the size, rotation and opacity to fit your needs. Once you're satisfied with the placement, tap Apply. You can show or hide the background any time within the layer menu. To verify measurement accuracy, an A to B reference line can be used. This is created by selecting the first point of the measurement and the point captured at the start of the arc. These two points can be labelled A and B for easy reference throughout the measurement process. To add labels, tap on point A, then select Edit and scroll across to Label. Tap on Label, type in A and press Apply. Repeat the process for point B, labelling it accordingly. To check the straight line distance between these two points, tap point A, then select the Cross Section tool. Next. Tap point B to display the length, rise and run values. These measurements provide a detailed breakdown of the distance, including any elevation changes between the points. The length value can be compared against a tape measure for validation. For additional accuracy checks, a new measurement can be started by tapping the plus icon, then selecting the point-to-point -point measuring option. 
Walking between A and B again, pausing in the green zone and comparing the measurement helps verify consistency and reliability. A cross-section measurement can also be taken between any two points, regardless of their position, such as across a diagonal. This offers an additional way to verify accuracy and confirm the reliability of the data. To customise measurement settings, tap the cogwheel, select measuring units and choose between imperial or metric. Additional options allow adjustments for linear, area and volume measurements, as well as export formats, angles and gradients for greater flexibility. While still on site, you can quickly export and share measurement data with colleagues or office staff in real time. Just tap File, then Export. Choose your preferred format and select how to send it, such as via email, directly from the app. To generate a PDF report, select PDF, then customise the report to include any key dimensions and a visual representation of the measured shape in a clear organised format. For advanced design integration, choose the CAD export option to save your measurement in a format compatible with professional design software. Tap Format to select DWG or DXF. You can also tap View to choose your preferred display, such as Plan 2D or 3D View. Additionally, tap Ignore Points to choose whether to show or hide them and use labels to show or hide labels as needed. Layers let you capture multiple areas in a single measurement, creating a detailed diagram with all shapes accurately positioned. To ensure accuracy, the first measured edge acts as the reference line for all layers. Choose a distinct and repeatable edge for easy alignment, like the long side of a pool or deck area. For best results, make this edge long to minimise error by walking briskly, pausing as the timer bar reaches the end of the green zone. Once you've completed your perimeter measurement, you can add a new layer. To start, tap Layers at the bottom of the app, then tap Add Layer. The app will prompt you to place your device at the shared origin, which is the starting point for the first base layer shown in black. Align the device at the origin and wait for the measurement to be captured. Next, you'll be prompted to capture a second point along the initial edge, also shown as a black line in the app. While the shared origin remains fixed, the second point can be placed slightly ahead or behind the initial point. These reference points are essential for ensuring all subsequent layers align accurately within the overall measurement. After capturing the second point, the path type will automatically switch to Ignore Line. The Ignore Line path type is applied automatically while moving to the next area. Once there, switch to the required path type such as Straight Line, Arc or Trace Line. Then continue measuring, pausing every 6 to 8 seconds for accuracy. To finish, tap the red stop icon, then save the measurement by selecting File and then Save. To keep the original measurement unchanged while adding layers, use Save As Copy. You can repeat adding as many layers as required. If you need your trace line path measurements to capture height at pause points while ignoring fluctuations such as moving over handrails, adjust the settings before starting your measurement. Go to Measuring Options, then under Trace Path Options, set Smooth Trace Curves to Yes. Next, change Trace Path Elevation to Linear Height Smoothing, then tap Save. You can also adjust the Flight Points Resolution Height as needed. With these settings applied, all new trace line paths will display a flattened trajectory rather than the true height variations. These settings can be changed any time before starting a project. In this example, there are obstacles preventing us from getting fully into the corner, so instead we navigate to the far side of the pool, capturing an extra point we don't need. To remove it, tap on the point in the app, then select Edit and choose Ignore. Once it's ignored, we can use the Extrapolate Corner tool. Simply tap on the single line, select Extrapolate Corner and the app will extend to meet at a precise intersection, giving us an accurate corner even with obstacles in the way.